How to create a multi-start, trapezoid, thread. How can rotary movements be converted, into fast, precise linear movements? And how can high forces be transmitted, at the same time? The answer is, with a multi-start trapezoidal thread. In this video, you will learn, how to design a multi-start trapezoidal thread, similar to DIN 103. And also what advantages it has, over a standard thread, even if the pitch is identical. All dimensions in this example, are controlled by parameters. This also allows you, to quickly create other sizes, or for example, a 10 start thread. What are the advantages, of a multi-start thread? A multi-start thread, as the name suggests, starts with several grooves. Here you can see a 3 start thread. The pitch is therefore 3 times as large. But couldn't a normal thread, with only one groove and triple pitch, also work? In principle this is possible, but as can be seen here, the area of this surface is almost the same. However, the 3 start thread has 3 times the surface area. The force transmission is therefore distributed over 3 surfaces instead of just one. A multi-start thread enables high force transmission, despite a large pitch. Define parameters of the thread. The geometry of the thread should be controlled via parameters. This allows easy adaptation to other sizes later on. The following example creates the size TR 20 times 4. The effective pitch is 12. This means, a trapezoidal thread, with a nominal diameter of 20, and a nominal pitch of 4. However, the effective pitch is 12. So it is a 3 start thread. Start the expressions command and create the necessary parameters. The parameter dn, controls the nominal diameter of the thread. This corresponds to the major diameter of the screw. You can add comments in the comment column. You can also move the column, using configure columns. The parameter P, controls the nominal pitch. The parameter DM, controls the diameter in the middle of the thread profile. This diameter is identical for both, the screw and the nut. It is calculated as DN, minus 0.5 times P. With a trapezoidal thread, the screw and nut only touch each other on the side surfaces. There is a small gap at the tip. This gap is the same size for both, the screw and nut, and is given the parameter gap. For a pitch of 4 mm, the standard specifies a gap of 0.25 mm. The core hole diameter of the threaded nut, is therefore calculated as follows. dh, is dn, minus p. And the parameter n, controls the number of starts. In this case, the value is 3. Please note, that a number is always without a unit. Now PE, the effective pitch, can also be calculated. The formula is P, times N. The last parameter is L, which defines the length of the thread. For example, the length is 100 mm.
The expressions and comments are also displayed in the part navigator. Construct base body. Create the sketch of the base body on the XC plane. This selection will help you later when defining the helix. In this example, a threaded shaft with a flange is to be designed. An undercut for the thread is created between the shaft and the flange. The diameter and thickness of the flange can be any value. But the undercut must adapt to the thread. Dimension the depth of the undercut and enter the formula P times 0.6. The length of the undercut is P times 3. Create the corner radii. The corner radii must also adapt to the pitch. They have a radius of P times 0.5. The angle should be between 30 and 45 degrees. Now only two dimensions are missing. Dimension the shaft diameter. The parameter is dn. And finally the length. Dimension the distance from the start of the thread to the center of the undercut. The parameter is L. The small sketch is now complete and can be turned into a body using the revolve command. One small detail is still missing, the chamfer at the tip. This also depends on the pitch. It has a size of P times 0.5. Modeling of the thread profile. First, an additional coordinate system is created. It defines the starting position of the thread. Create a coordinate system with the offset CSYS option. Select the coordinate system and enter an offset in Z of minus P times 0.5. Now follows the sketch for the cross section of the groove. It lies on the XC plane of the new coordinate system. It is a simple trapezoid, consisting of four lines. Move the center of the upper line to the vertical sketch axis. Do the same with the center of the lower line. If you now dimension the angle of 30 degrees, both lines have an angle of 15 degrees to the vertical sketch axis. Additionally, create a line from the center of the left line to the center of the right line. This is the center of the thread profile. This line has a length of P times 0.5. This line marks the center of the thread profile for the screw and the nut.
The height of the profile is also p times 0.5. However, the necessary gaps between the screw and nut are added here. The height is therefore calculated as p times 0.5 plus gap times 2. The distance to the horizontal sketch axis is controlled by the diameter, dm. This completes the profile's dimensions. It fits both the screw and the nut. All you need to do is change the angle to minus 30 degrees, and you have the profile for the nut. Modeling of the helix. Start the helix command and select the additional coordinate system. The diameter is dm. The pitch is pe. This means that if the parameter n is equal to 1, a normal thread is created. However, if n is greater than 1, a multi start thread is created. The length is L. And here you can also set whether it should be a right hand or left hand thread. Create the subtraction body. Start the swept command. This allows you to draw cross sections along curves. By the way, the swept command is explained in detail in the first seven exercises of the freeform course. First select the cross section and then the guide curve. Choose the vector direction option to align the cross section with a selected vector. If you look closely at the corners you see that the surface doesn't run exactly through the corner. But without an edge, it's not possible to create an edge blend. However, if you activate the preserve shape option, all corners will be taken into account. Now the edge blend can be created. According to the standard, the radius is the same size as the gap. The radius therefore corresponds to the gap parameter. Now the body can be subtracted from the bolt. The sharp edge that is now forming must also be rounded off. According to the standard, the radius is half the size of the gap. Thus, the radius corresponds to the gap multiplied by 0.5. The final step is to copy the first completed groove. Start the pattern feature command and select all the steps for the groove. The layout is circular. And the count and span option is used to distribute the desired number of copies over 360 degrees. Create a different size. And that completes the multi-start thread. Try out different values. For example, a 10-start thread. Or a thread with a larger diameter. For example, TR32 by 6, P12. Several variables must be changed for this. DN is now 32. P is 6 n is 2 and gap 
is 0.5 and the new thread is ready. But it gets even better. With parameter tables, several sizes can be predefined directly. Simply activate the desired size and all parameters are adjusted. More on this in the next video. And that brings us to the end. Do you have any questions or requests, or do you just like the video? Write your comments below. And if you really liked this tip, click on like and subscribe, because that's are the applause for the creator.